not quite halfway through Ahsoka, and I think it's time to write the check on this show. Now I was going to rant and go crazy about this, but it just, what exactly is there to go crazy? We've watched enough Disney Star Wars to know that this whole thing is broken. There's probably no chance to redeem it at this point. And what's kind of sad is I really liked Andor. I didn't like the idea of Andor. And I don't necessarily like the prequel, I, like going back in time and kind of retconning things. I'm not super interested, but I think Andor told enough of an interesting story for it to be worthwhile. It's something I'd recommend. It's something I really enjoyed. I thought there's some really fantastic acting in it. It was really well directed. I've watched all of the Disney Star Wars. I've you know watched Obi-Wan. I reviewed most of them up here and talked about them. And now I'm on to Ahsoka, Dave Filoni's bastard godchild. And I just, it's, it's, it's kind of, when I say it's a waste, it's a waste of talent, of time, of everything. I just don't understand what I'm even supposed to be watching. Because Ahsoka has the personality of a plank of wood. There's no personality there. There's no, I don't know what she wants. I don't know what her character growth is. I don't really understand. She and She's talking about the Jedi falling. Well, you didn't do anything to stop it. You could have killed Anakin. You could have helped Luke kill Anakin. You could. There's a lot of things she could have done, and she chose to do none of them. So telling other people that they're hypocrites for that doesn't make a ton of sense. But I digress. Let's go back to the episode. What episode, you ask? Because Disney Plus, when I watched it on Tuesday night forgot to put what the title of it was called. So I just knew it as episode three. Apparently, here in this article, it's actually called something. This is from TheRinger.com. Part three, Time to Fly. This episode does not fly. In fact, I'm very confused. If you really break it down, only like three things happen. First part is, I guess, a training montage where everyone says that... Oh, the robot keeps saying that Sabine Wren sucks and will never be a Jedi. And Ahsoka's like, meh, maybe she'll get there. And then they fight and she doesn't really show any growth and she sucks. So I don't really know what the point of that was. I'm assuming at some point she's going to get her magical powers... Because, you know, if you tr if you think hard enough, maybe you too will get the Force. You don't have to have any gifts in it. You know how, like, Rey could just use it without any training? Well, Sabine can't. So, but she will at some point. Maybe she'll get hit by, like, a space laser. I don't know. And get magical Force powers. It's the real waste here, too, is Rosario Dawson. And I do not blame her one iota. I have seen her in many things. I loved her in Daredevil. Uh, I've seen her. She's had a long, outstanding career. I think she was even good in Sin City. Like she's she's a great actress. She can emote, and she's being told that you must be a wizened Jedi, and that doesn't seem like her character. And I also didn't see Rebels, so I don't know what's going on here. And in fact, if I didn't read the Heir to the Empire Timothy Zahn trilogy, like a several times but if i if i didn't read that i wouldn't even know who thrawn is who is thrawn why are we supposed to be looking for thrawn everyone's motivation is thrawn and there's zero characterization of anybody do i know anything about ahsoka not really do i know anything about the villains not really why do they want to get thrawn do they have some sort of personal connection to thrawn i don't know it's three episodes and we still don't know anything what are you waiting for? Why are you waiting to tell us stuff? Like, wh uh, what's Sabine's motivation? I guess they want to get the boy back. I don't know. Whatever. So you have the training montage, and then you have the brief interlude of basically where Mary, Eliz uh, Mary Winstead Elizabeth, whatever the heck that chick's name is, and whatever her character's name is, because I don't know, and she has, no she has a son. That is what I have learned about her. And she got told no. So she can't come on the, the journey. Why? 
Don't know. <laughs> Is there any reason why she wouldn't just go on the ship? Nope. Maybe they don't want to pay her for more episodes. Who knows? Don't know. Which leads us to the space flight, which is the dumbest thing ever because we know they all have plot armor because Ahsoka, Sabine, and the robot are all on the plane or are all on the spaceship and they're not going to die because then there wouldn't be a show. So there's zero tension. And to illustrate the zero tension, the bad guys have the weakest ships I've ever seen ever. If you watch anything in Star Wars, you light up an X-Wing's engine, guess what? That thing's going down. It's going to blow up. Usually, or it's going to spin out of control. Like, you can't take a lot of hits. These guys take numerous direct hits. It's just stupid. And then, you know, they have starfighters. And their systems get knocked down. And Ahsoka... Decides to get into the dumbest looking spacesuit I've ever seen. Obviously, it has to match her body. And she jumps in space and cuts up a spaceship because she can do that. Because they wouldn't just sit back and shoot at her. They have to keep flying, you know, because they can't stop and just vaporize the ship like we've seen other times. I I just I don't understand. So this it's just it's just not good. It's it's so far it has it's getting actually it's getting as close to as dumb as Obi Wan. If you recall in Obi Wan, spoiler alert, there's a part where Obi Wan Kenobi smuggles a little girl out of a well populated uh, base of you know. Stormtroopers under his jacket literally is like, don't nothing to see here. And she like peeks her face out. That is peak cringe. Nothing gets worse than that so far. This is trying. It's poorly written. It's poorly paced. Does it like none of it is? It's just not interesting. I just I just don't care. I just don't. Even the part where Ahsoka pulls the cup of water and drinks it, it's like the slowest thing ever. She's like, let me think about the force. There's my cup. And then it doesn't even look like she actually drank the water. Like, it's just disappointing, all of it. Terrible, absolute, complete waste. Hera is the name of um, the Twi'lek general. We get to see Chancellor Mon Mothma. Woo! If we had any idea why to get Thrawn, or why Thrawn was so bad, why he's so tough, what Ezra did to stop him, I don't, we don't know. We didn't watch Rebels. It was a cartoon. I didn't watch it. Just give me some exposition. Show me a uh, flashback. Do something. Just don't keep doing what you're doing, which is nothing, and talking about nothing. So this is just stupid and i don't think anybody really likes it well let's talk uh, let, yeah there's really nothing to talk about like who cares stupid let's talk about the ahsoka viewing numbers seems to be a big dispute because forbes is saying that the viewing numbers are below mandalorian season three and obi-wan kenobi and we both know that those weren't hits they're claiming something like 14 million people watch this i don't agree with that they're saying Andor did better than this. I think people have had it. People are fed up. They're tired. There's no way they, they're going to get a movie out of this. I don't I don't see it unless Thrawn is amazing. But again, I don't know what's going on because I didn't watch Rebels. Maybe you did. Maybe you can tell me. But I've heard there's two versions of Thrawn. There's the Timothy Zahn tactical genius. And then there's a different Thrawn that was in Rebels. And I wouldn't know because they didn't bother to show us. So what do you guys think? Is Star Wars officially dead? I know I watch all of this for you guys. And it's a torture. And I, I do it for you because I love you deeply. Let's go out for a walk on the beach. Maybe you can tell me it's it's okay. I don't have to watch this anymore. But until you do that, I am forced 
to continue to watch these things. So I'll continue with Ahsoka. I can't guarantee I'll review all of them because it depends on whether or not you guys want to watch it. But if you tell me you do, I will keep I'll keep reviewing each one or I will summarize a couple at a time. It's just not exciting. I there at no point was I thrilled, titillated or even interested in the show. So that's what I got. Let me know what you got. But I am on to the next one.